Good afternoon, morning, evening, and night, ladies and gents. My name is Alex. Alexia, Alex, whatever you want to say. And uh, this episode's subject comes in from Weebosu and Ele- Elastroc PvP, who basically just say, What do you think of the Battlefront beta? Do, do I like it? Would I buy it? Thoughts in general. So, if you didn't know, I'm obviously a huge fucking Star Wars fan, a huge Battlefront fan in particular. I was very invested, to say the least, in Battlefront 2. Probably my most played game of all time, so of course, I was very trepidatious, very cautious about this game because A, not really a fan of, of EA, and B, I'm not really a fan of DICE either, especially after the disaster that the launch of Battlefield 4 was, so very worrying, especially the fact that there's no campaign mode, they're all saying this and that about it, it's not going to be this, there's only this much content, whatever. But now we've got to play it in this beta, beta, whatever you want to call it. I personally call it beta, so... So what do I think? Hmm, I've played at least a match of each sort of game mode, the PvE mode, the like wave-based horde thing. A couple of matches of the Walker Assault thing that's on Hoth, or the snow map, and the just sort of regular PvP on um, that new map that I think is called Celeste or something. It's like a rocky, lavery sort of planet. And I think, well, it's very Star Warsy to say the least. They've got, they've nailed the look, they've nailed the animation, they've nailed the sounds. Everything visual aesthetically is fucking spot on. I really appreciate the minimalistic design of everything, like the menus, the loadouts, the HUD, is all very easy to understand, very... It's not very intrusive, so it's, it's just... it just flows nicely when you're playing the game, it's, it, it's not ugly. It's, it's almost on the verge of being so simplistic that it's like, like a, a, a baby game or something, that it's treating you like a complete idiot. But, you know, it, they're trying to go for a wider audience, aren't they? Star Wars equals huge fucking general audience can't, you know, narrow it down to the battlefield sort of, um, player, which knows what they're doing, and they've got the more advanced sort of HUD and all this, but, you know, whatever. So that all the, all the, all the aesthetics, the graphics and everything look very good, everything looks very Star Wars-y, the gameplay itself is very fun, it flows nicely, I like the fact that you can play in third or first person, I personally choose third person. There isn't there, there is an option by the way you can hold down on the D-pad or change it in the in the settings. I don't think I don't think many people are going to use third person. I think only tr- you know try hard fucking old school battle front players from the old days will use that. I, I prefer the way the animations look. I prefer actually seeing the character models that are, I don't really like the look of if there's a choice I'm always going to go third person basically. I just think it looks better. You also have a little bit of an of advantage because you got the the way you can sort of hide on things and have a bigger point of view, whatever bigger field of view even. But here's when that that's like all the good things I can think of right now. The, the maps are cool, but my problem here is that I have a feeling this game is going to be disgustingly anemic in terms of breadth of content. They say there's going to be what five maps on launch. It, that, doesn't, it, that doesn't really mean anything because they sort of split them up into these sections and things for different game modes and stuff, but they have Hoth, Endor, Tatooine, Sullust, and I think that's actually it on launch, but they're releasing like within a few days of launch the, one of the the Jakku map from episode 7, which is another sort of deserty looking one, but that's that's not good for a game that has nothing else but it's multiplayer type content to support it. I mean, look, look, I've been seeing a lot of people comparing it in terms of money, you know, part for part value. So, like, for example, Halo 5's coming out this month for the same price. It has a 15 mission campaign, which is like 8, 10 hours long. The 20 something odd multiplayer maps. Uh, the, the, that's just, that's nothing. Well, obviously, that, that's loads, but Battlefront is nothing in comparison. I mean, that's nothing. 
and then uh, I, I just fear it's going to be another Titanfall Evolve situation, you know, where they, they focus entirely on multiplayer, but it can't quite grip, grip people, so it just sort of falls off a little bit. Not that well, the difference here, of course, is that they have Star Wars to bank on. It's not a new IP, so it's going to sell like hotcakes no matter what because Star Wars, new Star Wars, Battlefront revived. So it's going to do well no matter what, but yeah, I think people are going to get fed up with the maps because I was getting fed up of doing the same map over and over. I know it's only a beta at the moment, but uh, it, multiplayer gets very boring when it's the same map over and over, especially when it is like a, like a Hoth type thing where it's a very extreme sort of uh, design to the map, like the snow thing, you get very fed, fed up with that. I, li I like the way how it is, your desert map, your snow map, your jungle map with Endor. I haven't actually played the Endor one yet, but it looks cool at least, everything looks cool. So yeah, that, that's the general thing, I mean, uh, it's just a shame because I look at this game and I go, God damn, this game looks good. What? Imagine if this was in some kind of single player. Imagine if this was in like a, if they crafted, even if it was only like a five hour campaign. If it was just something, just, just, if they had like, um, they took you through all the, the biggest events from the original trilogy, just have a trench run level, have a, have a, like a Moss Eisley level, you know, a Jabba's Palace, you know, just all, all these things, all these big things they could have sort of woven in to some kind of s single player thing. Um, I, I'm, I'm, in this gameplay here, I'm probably pretty crap, because I'm a bit shit at the multiplayer at the moment. I'm not, I'm not one of those people that says, oh, it was my connection, but my connection was fucking awful when I was playing this, so it was a bit laggy. Was, so my bullets weren't tracking properly, you know. You know. But, yeah, it's... I'm a little bit more impressed than I thought I was going to be, because I was being quite Debbie Downer-ish on it to start with. Like, I, I was... I really had no, no faith in DICE or EA with this. And it's, I'm going to be buying it anyway, I think, so I think we're going to be doing a review, a review for it at some point, so that's that anyway. So we'll, we'll have a more fully rounded, sort of focused review then. This is just sort of a rambling discussion of um, just the initial thoughts. It, yeah, so anemic, worried about the longevity, how, how much content is going to be in there, how many guns are going to be in there, how are these maps going to work can we just play against bots because I'm shit and I want to actually enjoy myself that there is like a, a they've got, they pretty much have the whole game on here except they've just locked things out saying it's not it's not available in the beta like there is an area that says play against friend or or against bots or something so hopefully that would be the one where you can just play regular multiplayer but with the bots cuz everything looks spot on it's fun to play I just, I just feel like this is going to be a shell of a game when it comes out, so maybe the Battlefront 2, whenever they release that, or some kind of weird expansion, so they can charge us more money for it, will we'll be when the game really shines. You know, a lot of games have been doing this, Destiny did it, Titanfall Evolve, Ramble, Ramble, Ramble. So what, have, you, have you guys played it? What do you think of it? Are you disappointed, or has it lived up to your expectations and more? And if you're not a Star Wars fan and have played it for whatever reason, I'd be curious what you think of the game because I feel like the nostalgia for the original Star Wars trilogy is swaying, sway, persuade. What am I? I can't think right now. Is you know swaying, even swaying, you know, swaying a lot of people into just sort of accepting it for what it is when maybe we should be criticizing a bit harsher. So whatever it is. Tell me in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you leave suggestions for future job labs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.